Hello everyone, this is day two of GenCon 2017. Uh, my name is Guillermo Goulart. I'm one of the uh, designers and producers for Arcadia Quest. I'm here with Fred Perret, uh, one of the designers for Arcadia Quest as well. And we're here to talk to you about uh, the latest expansion we just unveiled here, which is Arcadia Quest Riders. So for this show, uh, we're uh, just showing you some of the pieces, uh, the box art. And uh, basically this is a plug and play expansion uh, similar to Pets. Um, it adds a new layer in, in the sense that you have now mounts for your guild. Uh, each guild gets to have one mount, um, like that. Um, and that will allow you not only to actually uh, traverse the city uh, in, a, in a more efficient way, as these mounts can shove characters out of the way, so it adds a whole new dynamism to the game. Um, they also have each uh, special ability that's exhaustible, so you have to uh, drop one of your guild tokens on them for, uh, to get special benefits. There you go. Notice the mounts can also have an item slot, just like the pets, so that you can upgrade them as you go along. The box also comes with two new heroes, uh, one brand new villain. He's a master hunter, uh, and the game takes place in the great wild plants just next to the city. And it also comes with a new minion, um, so there's plenty, uh, plenty of replayability in this box as well. It adds uh, a new campaign that it's a branching campaign, so if you own there you go. Those are the two new heroes. So if you already own some of the other expansions from Arcadia Quest, such as Pets uh, or Beyond the Grave, you can also use that, uh, those two expansions in this campaign because you can branch into other uh, scenarios to play with them, similar to what we've done with the uh, Fall of Arcadia. All right, I think that's it. Anything to add, Fred? No, thank you. All right, thank you very much for checking out. Talk to you soon.